The chief of the South African National Defence Force, General Rodzane Mapanya, will brief the media on his interventions that relate to the distribution of much-needed humanitarian aid to displaced families in Guazulu Natal following the devastating floods. The media briefing will be held at Army Support Base Durban's Communication Hall. SBC News reporter Vusi Kumalo is in Durban. Let's cross to him li uh, live now. Vusi, a very good morning to you. Uh, what's the chief of the army saying this morning? Uh, do we know what the content of the briefing will be? Yes, uh, General Rutsani Mapuanya will be here just shortly to brief uh, the media and the public about the, uh, about the SNDF's uh, uh, intervention uh, related to uh, the distribution of the much-needed humanitarian aid. As you know, that KwaZulu-Natal was struck uh, by the floods or hit hard by the floods in the province of KwaZulu-Natal, especially with regards to uh, I mean, the, the floods that uh, wreaked havoc in areas such as uh, Durban and surrounding areas in townships such as uh, Jelimnya, Mantuzu, Maina, and uh, even in areas such as a uh, northern part of the province, as Kawini, as well as uh, in some north coast uh, such as Tenga, Tonga, uh, Umzodi, uh, leaving uh, more than 440, uh, 459 people who, who died as a result of the floods and also causing havoc. Uh, with me is uh, 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 one of the chiefs, uh, the uh, lot uh, from the SNDF, who's going to introduce himself and also take us through about the days, uh, about today's activities here at the uh, army base. We know that. Uh, uh, the, the SNDF or the army uh, has been on the ground uh, facilitating I mean, aid uh, to uh, ensure that uh, those who are affected by the floods uh, do get assistance in the form of, of being or, or, or to have houses and also to ensure that they are being brought uh, assistance in the form of the uh, stationary dignitary packs and all other kind of assistance. So he's going to introduce himself himself uh, because we've just got him now uh, say if i may please have your full names and also your rank and also just take us through about today's activities morning i'm colonel sabato loloate the senior staff officer communication in the office of the chaplain general of the south african national defense force part of my job is to see to it that we communicate with the people in terms of what has transpired in kwazulu natal and we got a directive from the chief of the South African National Defense Force that we should be seen as a force for good. That's why we took this kind of an initiative to collect donations from the uniform members and non-uniform members within the South African National Defense Force. And we've packaged them. There's still some left in Waterkloof Air Force Base that will come down this side and there is more in the hangar this side that will be given it's rationed into three phases there is one pack that is sanitary pack there is one a food pack and there is one for clothing so basically we will be going to three areas today to see to it that we hand over as force for good we hand over this particular hampers to the people and say to them we are one in the tragedy that has befallen them. Mm. Oh, which areas specifically? Uh, today we will be going to Amanzi, uh, Amant, um, Amanti. From Amanti we will end up being in area around Ichelimnyama. And there's also one that is it's a, it's a Zulu name which I'm not familiar with because I'm a Motswana. So, but it, it, there, there are three areas. And in one of those areas, we have seen befitting to even go to the families that felt the fatality befallen, befell them. So it's three areas today, and the chief will be addressing the media about the whole exercise and the operation that is taken by the Department of Defense. Uh, we also know that other than being involved in uh, distributing 
uh, humanitarian aid. You are also involved in the construction of bridges as well. If you can just uh, tell us a little bit more on that. Yes, uh, bridges are being constructed by another formation within the uh, SNDF, that is the engineers. And recently they were around the Inanda Dam for water purification and even packaging of the water. So they are still continuing with other areas where there is a need for bridges. So, so we'll be here for how long? We, we will be here until Friday. Tomorrow we have another area and after day after tomorrow we will also be up to Stengamana, uh, Marion Ridge and Shell Cross Community Hall. We will be going there. Yes, and Tongat also, part, part of Tongat because it's a, a broader area and we have also done our uh, reconnaissance that we are able to see which ones we are going to go to them and then which ones we will be, God willing, come back to them and do the same project. Uh, what does this kind of assistance uh, comprise of? I saw that in a statement there will be some clothing. Uh, do you also provide water in areas because there are still some areas without water like Otongat and Amanzim Dodi? We, 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 yes, we do have water, but we, we won't say it is sufficient because it's an exercise that is still ongoing. And one of our internal uh, strategic partners did make a commitment of water that you, surely you have seen it in the hangar. It's 2,500 five-liter bottles of water that we will try to distribute. So we are trying to touch base with our people on the ground and try to give. Mm. Yes. Uh, we know that we, it's not uh, on today's program, but we've also been involved uh, as SNDF uh, in uh, search and rescue and recovery uh, efforts that are taking place in the province. Are you still on the ground? Are the army still on the ground assisting those who are still searching for their loved ones? Yes, we are still on the ground. And we believe until such time the chief says something different, but we will remain on the ground. Yes, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, that's one of the representatives uh, from SNTF coming from the communications uh, department, uh, Luwate, uh, saying that they are very much involved, especially they are on the ground uh, with regards to the search and rescue uh, missions uh, being, I mean, I mean, carried out by the SNTF members. Uh, just two weeks ago, we went uh, with them at uh, Inanda area where Mzalosa family uh, lost uh, 10 of their members and they had discovered, they had already buried uh, six of their family members, uh, but they were still searching for, for four more. On that particular day where we also, I mean, we were carrying that story, uh, we were covering that story, we also... Uh, so that uh, they also, I mean, recovered uh, the remains of two of their loved ones and they were about to uh, wait for the process of the DNA results uh, so that they can bury their loved ones and also have closure. That, that family currently has got two more uh, main bodies that are still uh, remaining. Uh, uh, we are told that uh, they have not found uh, the bodies, two bodies of, of uh, I mean, th th those uh, two people who got lost uh, uh, in the flood. So the SNTF, yes, they are here. They are distributing uh, humanitarian aid in the affected areas, as uh, uh, Luate did say, that uh, they will be going to places such as Jelimnyama, uh, Amaoti, in Inanda, just north of Durban, even in areas such as uh, far uh, flung in, in northern parts of the province, including uh, Stenga Mena. Uh, Tongat Umzoti, which Umzoti was the one which was uh, hardest hit by the latest uh, or the last uh, floods uh, that took place in the province of KwaZulu Natal. Desiree. Thank you so much for uh, that update. And of course, the full story of the impacts of those floods is yet to be told. You're watching the agenda. A quick break, we'll be back in a moment.